What up guys, this is Rick coming at you with another Monster Closet Mini. Uh, this one's going to be a mini mini. I don't know how long I can talk about this subject, but this subject uh, was requested by Nick Bolton. And uh, he wanted to hear about the death of the start and select button. And I guess that's actually kind of true. Uh, well, I think, I think the Wii U has the start and select button. I could be wrong. I don't have my Wii U thing in front of me. The 3DS definitely has a start and select button. But the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One, no no start and select. Let's be honest, though. Did the Xbox ever have a select button? It was the back button. At least, I think, I think it was the back button with the original Xbox. Yes, it was. It was just like a little arrow or something dumb. And then, you remember the black and the white buttons? That was a dumb too. Why, why weren't those extra shoulder buttons? Why, why did we need a black and a white button? That was so stupid. I actually had a third-party controller that made the black and white buttons, um, shoulder buttons, and th that was the best controller I owned for the original Xbox. And I think it was called like the Phoenix or something. And you know that's something for a whole nother day. We'll talk about third-party controllers at a whole nother time. Right now, I want to talk about the death of the start and select button. What is it on the PlayStation 4? Uh, share and options? And on the Xbox One, it's boxes or box? I don't even know. Menu and something. I have no idea. Hey, they, they just have little symbols on there. That is stupid. I mean, the start and select button, that's, that's great. Press start. You know, I, I miss pressing start. Now it's press box with lines through it, or press options, or press something dumb like that. I don't know. Man, I this is a really short one, and I I apologize, you guys. This is probably gonna max out at like five minutes. I'm really stretching this thin. Let me uh, let me look at my my Xbox One controller box here, and we have. Yeah, that's that's lines and boxes. We have the lines button and the boxes button. And man, have I... I don't know if I've mentioned this on here before. I'm pretty sure I have. The Xbox One controllers are built like crap. Like, those are probably... They're comfortable controllers. I mean, I'm used to it now. But that thing cannot take the beating that the 360 controller could. Let me tell you. Oh, you know what? I'm going to go ahead, and Nick Bolton suggested another topic, and I'm going to throw this into here, too. He wanted to know why people thought Super Nintendo controllers were confusing. Something like that. Let me look real quick. Let me look. We'll see what the what his exact question was. But rest assured, he had one. And we're, we're going to do our best to go ahead and fix and by fix I mean you know what not fixed one second by fix I mean answer we're gonna answer his questions alright his question is why is the Nintendo button layout confusing yet it was before the Dreamcast and the Xbox letter wise my answer to that is B comes after A Never before A. He goes A and then B. X and then Y. You know? With Nintendo's logic, L and R should have been reversed too. I don't like that. I want my A and then my B and my X and my and then my Y. I like things in a nice alphabetical order. Makes more sense that way. Always confuses me when it says press B and I press what I would think the B button is. But it's really the A button. I hate that with my uh, my 3DS. That gets me all the time. But, uh, all right. Well, I really can't drag either of these topics out any longer. So I do want to thank you guys for listening to this lackluster and short Monster Closet Mini. Uh, I did the best that I could for you, Nick Bolton. Uh, they were good topics. They just weren't a whole lot to talk about. I want to thanks everyone again for listening to this. You know where to 
find us at. All the social media links are below. Please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And uh, thanks for listening to Monster Closet.